Pine64 did it again. Just after I was super excited about the e-ink device, they just announced another device I'm super excited about, the PinePhone Pro, which is like the PinePhone. It's actually very similar to it on the outside, but it's much, much more powerful and has some cool tricks on the outside as well indeed. So let's see what's new. On the inside, we get an hexa-core rock chip, which is almost as fast as the PineBook Pro. It's actually just 20% slower, which is impressive considering that the PineBook Pro is like the most powerful uh, laptop they currently have in stock. So that's very impressive and it's uh, powerful enough that you can just take the PinePhone Pro and just connect it to a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse and start using it as if it was a desktop and it will just work so that's really impressive they also increased the amount of ram now it's four gigabytes instead of two or three in the old model which is not old it was just the base model sorry and they also have 128 gigabytes of storage instead of the 32 or 16 of the base version. The camera also got improved now with 13 megapixels for the main one and five for the selfie one instead of the base model five and two. These are the changes on the inside but they've also changed the outside. Now it's slightly thicker, two millimeters, not much. You can see it, but given what's inside, I think it's really worth it. Then we also get Gorilla Glass 4 to protect the screen, which is a nice to have. And you also retain the Poco pins for expansions like the keyboard, the fingerprint reader and the wireless charging that you had for the base version as well. You can still use them as if they were made for the Pro version as well. That hasn't changed, which is pretty cool. All the expansions for the base model work on the Pro just as if they were made for them. They also claim some premium feeling back coating that minimizes fingerprints. It sounds cool, I don't know what's that honestly, but I can't wait to like touch it and see if, if it really feels premium as they say they usually deliver on their words. It really seems like a very exciting update. And of course, all of this comes with a bit of a price. It's uh, $399 instead of the $199 of the Biz model. I think that the price is really worth it considering just how improved, especially the internal specs are. But of course, if you're not able to pay that extra price, they will also keep producing the base model for everyone so that you have both the price ranges to suit any kind of market. So that's very interesting. As a last thing, I want to mention that they will do a developer edition right now. They're already booking orders and that one will ship in December. Whereas they will do an explorer edition for those users or kind of developers as well, I guess, who want to try it out as soon as possible. That will open in November and they will be shipping in early 2022. So that is mostly everything we know about the PhoneFone Pro. I'm really excited that we have this new project in hand and I think that Plasma Mobile will run great. In fact, let me give you an example. This thing that uh, you can actually use the Fine Phone, Pine Phone sorry, Pro connecting the keyboard and monitor, it means that all Kirigami application in Plasma Mobile, they will work on the phone and on the desktop, same application, but as if it were meant for the phone when it's on the phone and the desktop when it's on the desktop. That's why we write Kurigami applications that are convergent. They can, you can just switch between them as if it was meant for each device. So that's super cool. I can wait to get my hands on one if I get to, but regardless, I will follow each update. So that's all I know and see ya. We get a hexa-core rock chip, which is on the inside, we get 
28 gb giga 16 of the old ver again the base version of the base version base version sorry about that <laughs> 